Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full makeover on this old table. So my mom actually got this from a yard sale for 50 bucks. So I wanted to paint it and give it more of a farmhouse style for her. Um, so we are doing a full makeover on her dining room. So make sure that you're subscribed and you stay tuned for that. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, but first thing I'm going to do is start by cleaning this table really good using some Dawn. Um, and water just like a really good warm soapy mixture to wipe down and clean the table really good and make sure there's no grease or dust or anything like that so after getting the table nice and clean I am now going to move on to painting the table um, this is a flat interior paint it's the Valspar 2000 high hide white so that's the color I'm painting it um, just to get started and I'm just using an old paintbrush to do this you don't have to use any like fancy products I always like to keep it budget friendly um, and just get the project done so like I said the first thing I'm gonna do is paint the entire table white and then we're gonna go in with all the other colors and make it more of that rustic farmhouse look For this particular technique that I'm going to be doing, I like to use a paintbrush so that way I have the brush strokes that kind of give the wood grain look. Um, I am going to be painting the tabletop to have a faux wood, um, kind of like washed look, so that's why I like to use the paintbrush. And by the way, for the top of the table, I'm only going to be doing one coat, and I did two coats for the chairs. Um, and this paint worked really well. It was about like using chalk paint in my opinion, just a lot cheaper and it goes a lot further than the chalk paint. So I don't know why I didn't use this before. I, I guess I was just thinking it wouldn't work as well, but this chalk, or not the chalk paint, this flat paint worked amazing just like the Walmart brand that I had used in the past. So I recommend saving you some yourself some money and just steering away from chalk paint if you think it's a little too pricey or doesn't fit in your um you know your budget just get you some flat paint it works just as good you might have to do an extra coat but it's totally worth it to save the extra money All right, so as you can see, I'm painting the chairs, and this was the most tedious process just because there was just so many little, you know, little round pieces, and it just took a long time. This is one of the most tedious jobs that, that there is, but it's totally worth it in the end, so don't give up if you're painting a table. It's super hard to keep going, but it's totally worth it. Um, and then right here, I'm just laying out all my paint colors. I like to put these on a paper plate. That's just the best way for me to do it, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> Don't watch. Don't watch. Ah, I don't want to do it. Just do it. You want me to do the first strip so you're okay? No, I, I know it's going to be fine. I don't know why I get so nervous. Yeah, me too. So you can hear me talk about how I was nervous to start and this always happens every time I'm starting a project I always like am hesitant to start painting over it because <laughs> it just I I don't know it's just a I know it's gonna turn out but it's just getting that first set of color on there is always just nerve-wracking so um, but anyway starting out I am using the color color elephant gray this is the Waverly chalk paint my mom had this on hand so that's why I used it um, if she wouldn't have had this color I probably would have just used the really cheap apple barrel um, 50 cent paints from Walmart those work just as good it just makes sure you get the matte finish because it gives you more of like that chalky finish um, and then right here I'm using nutmeg brown and white and I'm mixing those two colors together to make sure it's like not too brown but not too tan. So that's what I made, just my own little brown color. And then I'm also just brushing this on 
By the way, I'm being very light-handed and then like gently putting pressure to give some areas a little bit darker of a look. Um, and this just takes practice. I have done this so many times. Y'all have seen me do projects like this. So it honestly just takes practice to get the exact technique you want. Um, and then right here is something that I seen on a video. I don't remember. It's been a long time, so I don't even remember whose video it was. But you take a wet washcloth and you dip it into white paint. And you just gently brush over the paint that you just did. And it kind of blends things together and gives you like a more... I don't know, just softer look. It's not so harsh. There's not like a lot of harsh lines. So originally my mom said she wanted gray, brown, and white. So that's what I did. And I recreated a picture that she wanted. And I'll go ahead and insert that picture right here. So that was our original inspiration picture. I showed her that. She was like really in love with it. But she wanted, um, she thought she wanted to do like more of a wash look on her chair. So I was like, okay, well, I'll start with the tabletop and then we'll go from there. <laughs> as soon as I was done with all of this, she was like, nope, nope, I need more brown. I need more brown. <laughs> no gray. <laughs> so in just a little bit, I will be adding to it and finishing it off the way that my mom wanted it. So sometimes when you're doing projects for other people, it takes a little bit more time because you have to figure out what they actually want. Melted chocolate. You gotta remember that. Okay. So you want melted chocolate on these two or do you want me to just do like a light wash on these? What do you mean? I know I should have went up and down, but it got it was handy just now. <laughs> so I should go up and down instead. I'll try it here and just see what happens. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, it's too heavy. See, your brush is smaller than mine, so it, it's doing different. So right here, my mom and I are trying to figure out what she wants as far as for the chairs go. And this did take some time and we had to repaint a few chairs to start over, but we eventually figured it out. I like it. I think it's pretty. And it looks country to me. Like cottagey. Yeah, I was country. worried about how this was going to look with this. Because you see how we did that? We did our brush strokes differently. I know, but it kind of gives it more texture. Yeah. Did you notice? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how dark are you doing yours? Because mine might be too light. Hey, I don't know. Look at mine. It does look pretty. It's like just a nice little touch. Just a touch. I like that. Just be a little light hand. A little, a little lighter. Well, I've already done <laughs> <laughs> Repaint it! <laughs> I had to repaint mine. But that looks pretty. Just a light little touch. Don't you think? And then that way the table will pop because it'll be a little darker. Maybe just a little bit more where, where, you know what I mean? Not as... I like mine. I like it, but I think just a little bit more. I like the lighter Look at how thing. it's making it look antique, because like you said, with the brush strokes going there. Yeah. Opposite direction. I like it. Just a little, I think a little bit more. Doing a little oh, bit so dark. Funny. I know. Oh, we never run the brown paint. No. <laughs> I hope not. Heavy. <laughs> uh oh, look, look, then what you do is you come back, look in your. Uh, oh, I think this thing. Carrie? What do you think? Good? Yeah, just look. I am just go over it when we need to. It's just like But mine looks different than yours, so one of us has got to do this because you got a different stroke than me. Look. <laughs> look, we can't have Oh, because you've been white on your stock. You did, you did white on top of yours. Sugar. Don't pick up the white. Just let's do them brown. Just hit, they don't all have to be identical. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna have to paint this again. Got a little heavy right there. It's okay. We can hit it with white. Yeah, no, I. You don't have to hit paint again. I like it. I just after I'm done painting mine, we'll just have to hit it with some white to make it match yours. Well, you're doing lighter now than me. What do you mean? I'm going It doesn't match. I'm trying. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's nice here. Use the light. <laughs> Whoopsie. Just, Should I hit it with the light or no? We'll just let it dry and then we'll hit it with the light. You could do it like a thick light. And then. What do you think? Ready? You want me to go heavier? Well, no. I don't know. But I 
just, we can't, we can't fall to it. Because it, I like yours. I like it, and I actually like it with a little bit more brown. <laughs> oh, I messed it up! <laughs> oh, no. What'd you do? <laughs> There's white paint. No. What? Okay, I gotta go over this one. Again. Don't look. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'll paint it white and I'll restart. Now. Oh, I can't go up and down. It's okay. I'm gonna do this, and then I'll I'll paint that white. So don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going different directions each time, and repaint it with the other way. This is the one I did horizontal. You know what I mean? Yeah. But see, because because we did like the brush strokes the opposite direction, like right here, it makes it look cracked. Did you see it? It looks like cracked and old. I know. I like that. I like it. It looks a little country, a little, little old. Tickly, see? Wiggly. Yeah, you said it didn't. <laughs> well, at first, I'm thinking, like, you want to do, like, when you first started, you got to admit, you had it pretty dark over there. Well, it was still pretty. It was pretty, but it was just dark. Oh. I love it. Freaking love it. So, yeah, you got to do it. <laughs> Why is it ha ha? I don't mind painting. I love painting. <laughs> <laughs> I just being yeah, facetious. Oh, look at my painting white again. Look at me. <laughs> what is that? Because <laughs> I was trying to help, but we can't. You know, you just can't. We gotta all have the same technique. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, it definitely took some time to figure out how we wanted it and the technique we were gonna do. So it turns out one of us had to do it because we were both trying and they were completely different. So instead, my mom repainted her chair back white <laughs> and she wanted me to do it. So that's what I did. Alright, so I wanted to give you an up-close look on how I was painting the chairs. So I'm just really light-handed, like taking the paint from one end down to the other, trying to make sure all the brush strokes are going in the same direction, and making it like a little darker on the edges to kind of highlight those little details. Um, and this obviously just takes practice at first you know you could see that my mom and I kept messing up but you can always just paint over it white and start over so don't ever be discouraged like if you accidentally go a little too heavy-handed I always just let it dry fully repaint it white and then start over so um, it does take time but eventually you end up getting a really really pretty look and I love the way that these chairs turned out so like I told you earlier in the video, my mom decided that she wanted me to do a lot more brown on the top of the table, which actually turned out absolutely amazing. So I'm so glad that she wanted me to do this because I feel like it just made the table top notch. It just took it to the next level. So um, all I did was just make sure the table was fully dry and went in with my paintbrush and the brown paint and started painting over the entire table using the brown. And then I let that fully dry and start going over it with a little bit of white paint. Okay, so I quickly wanted to mention that you'll notice that I do a couple really dark spots on the table with the brown, and that is on purpose because I want it to have like a, almost like a depth like wood does. You know how wood has like areas that are super dark and then super light? That's exactly what I was trying to re recreate here, so that's why I do that. And now I'm taking this paintbrush that has just a tiny bit of white paint on it, and I'm just very gently going over the colors just to kind of help blend everything out.
So right here you can see how the colors are starting to blend together really nicely and once I started adding the white to the top. Now there are times where I accidentally add like a little too much white and all I do is just let that dry and then go back over it with whatever color I was using. So in this case I was using the brown so I would just touch it up with a little bit of brown paint. Um, don't ever be nervous to do that. It's not going to hurt anything. Just add your layers and you can always touch up. The worst case scenario, every, the worst case scenario, you just paint the whole thing solid and just seal it, you know? So don't ever be scared to do these types of projects or at least attempt them. You'll never know until you try. And I always say that, but it's the truth. You can do this too. Um, you just have to go for it. And like I said, worst case scenario, you paint the whole thing white and call it a day. So we decided to do the table, the bottom of the table, the legs and stuff, the same as we did the chairs, just so everything matched and looked like it was a cohesive set. Um, and I honestly am so, so obsessed with the way that this looks. All the details in the table really stand out whenever you do this because that dark paint just kind of collects to those areas, those edges, and I don't know, it just really amplifies it. And I am... I'm obsessed with this table, y'all. Like, I want this table. <laughs> as soon as I was done painting it, I told my mom, I'm like, I'm taking this home. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're not. And it was just funny because every time I do a project, I fall in love with the piece that I do. It's really hard for me to either sell it, give it away, or do something. But obviously, I knew this was my mom's table. So, um, but I'm just so, so obsessed with the way it looks. It looks absolutely amazing. So here is a quick reminder how it looked before and this is what it looks like now. All right, so y'all let me know in the comments below what you think of this table. So by the way, I know you didn't see me seal it in this video, but we are going to seal it using the polycrylic and the clear satin finish. It gives like a nice, um, it's like a almost a matte finish, but not quite. So it's really good for like a tabletop and stuff like that. If you prefer, you could always use a gloss, but just be sure to seal your project so that way it lasts. Um, if you don't, it will get scuff marks in it and it will not hold. So. Um, we will be doing that in a future video because I am doing a full makeover on her dining room. But I hope you guys decide to stick around and subscribe so you don't miss those videos. But thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that this inspired you to tackle a project yourself. Um, let me know in the comments below if you would decide that you want to recreate this. Or if you ever do, please, please tag me so I can see it. Um, but thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.